All right, welcome back. So in this video, we're gonna talk about page layout. So if I click on page layout, you can see here we can select by themes. And what that'll do is it'll change the color, but it'll also change the font format and size. You can do colors, effects, well fonts, and then effects. Okay. Um, for margins, we can do normal, wide, and narrow, and then you can do custom margins. Orientation, we can do portrait or landscape. Size, we can do letter, legal, executive, A4, A5. These are all different paper sizes. Print area, you can set the print area. Breaks. So again, I'm going to utilize uh, my example that I showed you earlier. Um, again, you don't need to do this. Just watch what I'm doing. But basically, um, for print area, what you do is you set from here to like here, and then you set the print area. Okay, and then I hit Control P to print, and you can see um, I didn't even select the that, but when I select this, fix it, then you can see the number, the course, the total revenue, of students, reviews, duration, and lectures. Okay, so then when I print this off and I want to look at this and analyze the data and what I'm doing and what I need to improve on, um, I have everything right here. Okay. And then you can change the orientation of this from landscape to portrait. And that will go long way. Landscape is wide, portrait is horizontal. So there you go. So we'll keep it at landscape. That way it can fit more rows on here. Um, and what we can do is we can go all the way to the bottom to here. And then I can set the print area there. And if I hit control P, then you're going to see it's going to be a couple pages. And this is where you would utilize, instead of landscape, you do portrait. And then it will it'll shrink it down, but it also cuts off after three cells. So you could move this over, and I'll show you how to do that right now. Um, we can move it over just a little bit. And then this one you can move quite a bit. Same with students. And then if I hit Control P, now I have course, total revenue, students, reviews, and duration, all in the same page. Um, and if I did landscape, we have all those and more. It doesn't fit as many on there, and it cuts off too, but you just would take that off the print area. So you would do two lectures, make that the print area. And then if I hit Control P, Show print preview, there you go. Okay, now we have 27 pages. But if I do portrait, it's only 40 pages now, but I have a lot of stuff. So again, that's just an example. Um, so let me close this out. I'm not gonna say what I did. And so that's page setup, okay? Um, scale the fit, you can do width, automatic height, and then scale. Sheet options, we can do grid lines, we can uh, view. Headings, print, so you can print those, and then we have a range. So we have bring forward, send backwards, selection pan, align, group, and rotate. So that's the page layout. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.